Navy calls it Fighter Weapon School, the pilots call it Top Gun. Top Gun will fly the skies once again. As the buzz surrounding Top Gun Maverick continues to soar, there's already speculation about a potential third installment in this iconic franchise. But what unique ingredient could set Top Gun 3 apart and make it a memorable addition to the series? Let's dive into the details and find out what might be in store for fans of these exhilarating aerial adventures. If they decide to make a Top Gun 3 down the road, there's a little something special that's going to make it different from Top Gun Maverick. Even though they haven't officially confirmed a third Top Gun movie yet, it's pretty much a sure thing with how well Maverick did at the box office and with critics. Just like Maverick blended 80s nostalgia with a modern twist to give us an awesome action flick, Top Gun 3 will need to borrow some stuff from the first two movies while still finding its own groove. So when we think about what Top Gun 3 might be about, we can take some hints from the story and characters in Maverick. There's already one big thing that makes it stand out from the earlier films. Top Gun 3 is going to do something that the previous movies in the franchise haven't done before. It will have an established cast right from the get-go. When the first Top Gun movie came out, Tom Cruise was still a rising star with just a handful of films under his belt, and the rest of the cast were also relatively new to the scene. Top Gun 2, or Top Gun Maverick, changed that by not only featuring Tom Cruise as a bona fide movie star, but also bringing back some familiar faces from the original film. This mix of old and new characters certainly added to the movie's appeal and success. Now, with all the groundwork that Maverick has laid for Top Gun 3, it's likely that the third installment will have a well-established ensemble. Top Gun 2 mainly brought back Tom Cruise's Maverick and a few others from the first film, with most of the leading cast being newcomers to the franchise. Since Top Gun 3 will probably follow directly from Maverick, it's the perfect opportunity to reintroduce the cast from that movie and make the most of their talent. It might not bring back everyone from Top Gun 2, but it can certainly continue their storylines in the bigger picture. So the third movie is shaping up to be something special in the Top Gun series. Top Gun 3's established cast will make it a totally different sequel. Yeah, I'm good. You right? I saved your life! I you told me not to think! Hoping that we don't have to wait another three decades for Top Gun 3 to hit the screens, it's going to be a game changer in the franchise. While Top Gun 2 did have some ties to the original film, particularly focusing on Maverick's grief over Goose's death, it had to tweak the story quite a bit to create the tension between Rooster and Maverick. But with Top Gun 3 happening not too long after the events of Maverick, we finally get some continuity in the series. This means there's more room to dive into the characters' pasts and what drives them. From a marketing and commercial perspective, having Top Gun 3 smoothly continue from Maverick is a big deal. The promise of bringing back the cast from the second film alone is a huge selling point that could help the third installment surpass its predecessor's box office success. And Top Gun 3 will be a different kind of sequel, steering the franchise in a new direction where the character stories will be more refined, deep, and emotionally resonant with the audience. So it's not just another sequel, it's a fresh and exciting chapter in the Top Gun series. Top Gun Maverick's new cast are the franchise's future, not Tom Cruise. Maverick wrapped up Tom Cruise's character's story in a really satisfying and emotional way. If he takes the lead in the sequel, it might steal the spotlight from the touching ending of Top Gun Maverick. It makes more sense for Tom Cruise to have a smaller role in Top Gun 3, like being a wise advisor to Miles Teller's rooster. Anything more than that might be a bit of a stretch, especially considering all the awesome stuff Maverick accomplished in the second movie. He silenced his critics pulled off a nearly impossible mission, gained the Navy's respect, made amends with Rooster, and found love and peace with Jennifer Connelly's Penny. The way things wrapped up in Maverick suggests it's time for Maverick to heed Iceman's advice and move on. Besides, Top Gun 2 opened up a bunch of new story possibilities for Top Gun 3 that don't really require Maverick to be in the limelight. For example, there's not much room for him in Rooster and Hangman's friendly competition or their personal journeys as pilots, which will be the heart of the third movie's story. All in all, Top Gun 3 is shaping up to be something fresh in the series, and having Tom Cruise in a smaller role could help make it stand out from the previous films. Top Gun 3 should bring back the key legacy character. In Top Gun Maverick, Tom Cruise made a glorious comeback 
as Captain Pete Maverick Mitchell, and we were treated to a touching surprise by Val Kilmer, who reprised his role as Admiral Tom Iceman Kazansky, once Maverick's rival, now his trusted wingman. Apart from Maverick's new romantic interest, Penny Benjamin, briefly mentioned as the Admiral's daughter in the first movie, all the other characters in the sequel were brand new additions. It would be amazing to see some of these fresh faces return in a potential Top Gun 3 if the storyline allows it. Characters like Glenn Powell as Hangman, Monica Barbero as Phoenix, and Louis Pullman as Bob. But there's one character that Top Gun 3 absolutely should include, and that's a hidden gem from the original Tony Scott film. The heart of Top Gun Maverick revolves around Maverick taking on a fatherly role for his late best friend Goose's son, Lieutenant Bradley Rooster Bradshaw. Rooster's mother, Carol Bradshaw, played by Meg Ryan in the 1986 movie, is a significant presence in Top Gun Maverick. Maverick had promised Carol he'd keep Rooster out of the Navy, but ultimately had to break that promise. However, Carol herself never made an appearance on screen. To match the emotional depth of Top Gun 2, Top Gun 3 should definitely bring back Meg Ryan for a powerful performance as a widow determined to protect her son from the same fate as her husband. In an interview, Teller expressed his eagerness for a third Top Gun movie centered on his character, saying, I'm trying to get a Top Gun rooster. I've been pitching it. We'll see what happens. If Rooster takes the lead in Top Gun 3, then there's every reason to include his mother in the main cast, or at least in a brief yet impactful cameo, just like Iceman in Maverick. It just didn't add up for Carol to be absent from Top Gun Maverick, given her significant influence on Rooster's military career, even though she didn't appear in any scenes. The third movie can more than make up for her absence in the second one by giving her a meaningful role in Top Gun 3. Meg Ryan, the lady with the golden touch. You see, her gig as Carol in the original Top Gun was like her warm-up act before she became the rom-com queen. You know, she was a soap opera star on As the World Turns, and then she made that big leap to the movie world. But the real BAM moment happened when she graced us with her iconic performance in When Harry Met Sally. From there, Meg Ryan became the go-to face for all things romantic comedy. Nora Ephron and Tom Hanks practically had her on speed dial for flicks like Sleepless in Seattle and You've Got Mail. But then, she kind of pulled a vanishing act after her last major film in 2008, The Women, where she was hanging with Annette Bening and Ava Mendez. It's like we lost our favorite leading lady. So you see, Top Gun 3 could be the stage for her Hollywood comeback. She's got all the talent, and it's about time she graced our screens once again. So if Top Gun 3 wants to keep that magic alive, bringing in Rooster's widowed mom as a thorn in Maverick's side could be the game changer. Drama in the skies and drama on the ground. That's the recipe for another blockbuster. Buckle up, folks, because Top Gun 3 might just be the ride of a lifetime.